The Penta 5000 is a 5 grit station metallographic hand grinder. It is the only metallographic hand grinder that has 5 stations offering both an 800 and 1200 grit silicon carbide grinding paper. The addition of these two finer abrasive grit sizes results in surface finishes that in many cases are good enough for final analysis. Thus it offers a very economical method for simple samples. With a water control valve, both wet and dry grinding can be accomplished. The Penta 5000 provides intermediate grinding with 240, 360, and 600 grit silicon carbide, and fine grinding with 800 and 1200 grit silicon carbide. Advancing the abrasive rolls is very easy and fast, so new abrasive can be used as needed. For preparing heat treated or welded samples, the Penta 5000 with its finer grinding stations in many cases provides a good enough surface finish for doing a quick and expensive analysis. Here is a sample of a welded joint after grinding and etching. Clearly the weld and filler material are visible for analysis. Loading or changing the abrasive paper is very easy. Simply open the top cover and remove the guide roller. Insert the roller into the new abrasive grinding roll and reinsert into the Penta 5000 paper slot. Advance the paper while lifting the retaining plate. Tear or cut the excess or depleted paper at the end of the roll. The operation of the Penta 5000 is very easy. First turn on the water. Starting with the 240 grit or coarsest grinding paper, grind the sample in one direction until all the grinding marks and initial damage are removed. Turn the sample 90 degrees and move to the 360 grit paper. Grind at this station until all the grinding scratches are oriented in that direction. Continue the procedure with the 600, 800, and 1200 grinding steps respectively. It is important that all the damage from the previous step be removed before continuing on to the next smaller abrasive size. The best way to ensure that the grinding step has been completed is to visually inspect the sample surface. By rotating 90 degrees after each grit size, it is easy to see if the grinding step has been completed by verifying that all the new grinding scratches are oriented in the new direction.